Iran's regime hangs another woman. Iran's regime has hanged another woman in the northeastern city of Mashhad. The unnamed woman was hung at dawn on Sunday in the central prison of Mashhad, according to the state-run Rockno News Agency. She was the 94th woman executed in Iran since Hassan Rouhani took office as president. The Women's Committee of the National Council of Resistance of Iran condemned her execution by the Mullah's regime since she was a victim of misogynistic laws and policies of the clerical regime and their destruction of the economy. The NCRI Women's Committee urged international organizations defending human rights and women's rights to intervene and put an end to the death penalty in Iran. Iran's regime executed four women in the span of just eight days in July. NCRI blasts EU's weak Iran policy in interview with Britain's Express. Hossein Abedini of the NCRI's Foreign Affairs Committee has told Britain's Express that the Iranian regime has been able to use dual national hostages as a bargaining chip to deal with the West thanks to the weak approach of the European Union against the rogue regime. Avedini said, Whatever the regime says is not from a position of strength. If they saw robustness and if they saw a strong action, a unified action, they would retreat from their position. Our experience for many, many years is that the regime has faced lots of crises in Iran. It's only a hollow threat, but it's, of course, a terrorist regime, so the only way to deal with them is to not give further concessions. They should deal with it as strongly as they say. There are tactical measures that should be taken, especially putting the IRGC on the terrorist list. European governments unfortunately have weak Iran policies that are counterproductive, Abedini said. It has only affected the regime to a degree to challenge its atrocities. Demonstrations and protests by retirees and teachers Hundreds of retirees staged a demonstration outside the Labour Ministry in Tehran on Monday. The protest was held despite the regime's repressive measures. A number of protesters, especially those taking photos and videos, were detained. Enraged over low pensions, late payments, inflation and high prices, the retirees carried placards which read, They used Islam as a ladder to enrich themselves and impoverish the people. Workers, teachers must not be jailed. Leave Syria alone and think of us, and jailed teachers must be freed. The same day, a large number of teachers and retirees in Isfahan staged a demonstration. Their placards read, Livelihood, dignity and health are our inalienable rights. We will not rest until we obtain our right. Raise teachers' wages above the poverty line. Our enemy is right here, they lie when they say it's America. Leave Syria alone, think of us. And no theft, no humiliation, these are the nation's chance. A short while later, the repressive forces attacked and assaulted the protesters and arrested several of them. Iran sentences 10 sugarcane workers to lashes for protests. Nine workers of the Haftapur sugarcane factory in the Iranian city of Shush were sentenced to eight months in prison and 30 lashes each, state media reported. The workers stood trial on August 14th. They are being prosecuted for attending a one-hour protest gathering on May 9th, demanding their rights. According to the Haftapur Sugarcane Syndicate, one of the charges brought against the 10 workers is holding illegal gatherings to demand change of management and the release of Eshmael Bakshi. The syndicate also said that the workers have been summoned for charges such as publishing messages on the internet. Earlier, seven more of the complex's workers were tried and sentenced. According to the Haftapur Workers' Independent Social Media channel, the judge sentenced each of the accused to eight months of a suspended prison sentence and 30 lashes. The Iranian regime does not recognize workers' rights to organize, even though they have months of unpaid wages and say that their basic demands have not been met.